Herschel Woody Williams volunteered to serve in World War II the day he turned 18. He is now Iwo Jima's last living recipient of the Medal of Honor, awarded for his, quote, aggressive fighting spirit and valiant devotion to duty. Woody's story and the story of seven others, including my uncle Harry Gray, inspired my book, Unknown Valor, now the subject of a Fox Nation documentary where Woody reflects on his service to our country. On the morning of the 8th, they called us together and told us that America had been bombed. I'm only 17 years old, so my mother wouldn't sign my paper. And then when I was 18, I told Mom, I'm, I'm going into the Marine Corps. I've been asked many, many times, why did I select the Marine Corps? I knew nothing about the armed forces whatsoever. I did know the difference between a Marine and an Army guy. When I finally got to the main recruiter and gave him my paper, he, he didn't look at it, he looked at me and just shook his head and said, I can't take you. And he said, you are too short. So they lowered the uh, height requirement to five, two or better. And the recruiter came to the forum and asked me if I still wanted to go in the Marine Corps and I said, yes. And we shipped out in uh, early February for EWO not knowing where we were going to go. Most of us couldn't figure out why we were taking that wee little place and why we needed so many Marines to do it. We lost a tremendous number of our uh, Marines in our unit. And in fact, uh, my company commander and two other officers, normally you have a uh, commanding officer and four or five other officers, they have either been wounded or killed and so now he only had two left and plus himself. Finally, my commanding officer called for a meeting of those who were left. The commanding officer asked me, as the only flamethrower operator left, could I do something about some of these pillboxes that had installed? And what my remark was, uh, I'll try. Two of those Marines that day sacrificed their lives protecting mine. I didn't find that out until after the campaign was over and we were back to Guam, back in our tents again, and then I learned that that happened. I never knew who they were. And I keep saying over and over, why me? Why me? I don't have the answer to that. I was just a regular Marine doing a regular job for which the Marine Corps trained me. I began realizing this medal has a significance I never dreamed of, you know. But it was still a long time, uh, years before I finally came to the full realization that it doesn't represent me, it represents them. And my life has been so full of miracles. That gave me some realization of what it meant to survive and, and be the recipient of the country's highest medal. Yet, the question still comes, why me? He's an incredible hero, uh, Woody Williams, just an incredible person.